Our show with Dr. June Cleese from Bay College in Escanaba talking about the U.S. civic wellness movement is just flying by. And we know we're at tip number five already, which is prevent and heal damage when able because you say there are actual negative health impacts that mm -hmm. come along with engaging in toxic media in these discussions that are just draining. Just draining. And, you know, there's some really sad outcomes that we've heard about, you know, where people are allowing this stuff to, to, to drive families apart. And it really is a choice we're making when we think about that, you know. Uh, I was uh, uh, talking to a healthcare provider not too long ago, and I just sort of said, you know, I'm just curious, on an average day, and of course this is anecdotal, but on an average day, you know, <clears throat> or average week, how many times throughout the week do you get people mentioning that the toxicity in our political culture is affecting them negatively, you know, with stress levels or, you know, family problems, and, they, and he just said, almost every week you know mm. it's, it, there's there's always something that's coming up in and around that and he told a sad story about um, a woman that was you know not being able to see her grandchildren anymore because of these kinds of differences and you sit there and you think about it that's an isolation thing when elderly are already you know um, struggling with isolation and loneliness we know about that in this country why would we drive further wedges right over these kinds of matters now I mean there may be more at work in that given situation than just politics but it does get you thinking right it gets you thinking about how much uh, it, you know right in front of you your family your friends your loved ones how much of this do you want of this toxic pollutant of politics right with the kind of the old-fashioned politics with a K you know how we, we used to spell it sometimes to emphasize that nasty side of it how much of that are you really gonna let into your system and, and into your your family world and your lives that way and so those negative impacts of course you can you can do the normal things like we said earlier you know, take a walk decompress if you've been in a, in a situation or a conversation where that's really you know kind of getting your 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 stomach juices flowing in the bad way you know take those moments to take those breaks and of course you know those other skills that we mentioned and locally you know we have some practice organizations uh, Delta Chats which we've mentioned before on the show we're starting up again this year so uh, for folks in Delta County if you're interested we do meet monthly um, on the first Thursday of the month uh, on, on the uh, Bay College Economic Campus and that's really more for organizations, nonprofits uh, in, in the area that want to integrate more dialogue into their mission, into their work. And so it's a connector organization. We do light little fun practice like cake or pie or you know mm -hmm. things like that. But um, that that's an opportunity in Delta County anyway to get connected. But I'm, I know there are other things happening across the UP. And also um, I'm hosting an event for uh, wellness providers, for health and wellness providers on October 11th, again at the Escanaba campus, and um, it's the, basically connecting people to these resources. Now nationally, you have Braver Angels, which does workshops on depolarization. Um, you can take an e-course, for example, that's called Depolariza Depolarizing Within uh, Your Skills for Disagreeing Better with Family. Uh, and then also they have uh, Surviving the 2024 election coming up. It's going to be a I guess like a webinar uh, and it'll be then later on YouTube I think that's on September 17th coming up and then um, there is an actual forum that healthcare providers uh, can attend a monthly that is run by Braver Angels and then um, the thing that Delta Chats is going to be doing this year is we're going to be working with an organization called Living Room Conversations and we love Living Room Conversations because again nonpartisan all about trying to just heal these divides they have have conversation guides that anyone can pull off online it's all free and you can organize a small group a conversation group around these conversation guides they take you through um, the, the the sort of the ground rules for the conversation you don't have to be a skilled facilitator to do this this is just a bunch of people getting together saying you know hey let's get over yeah. you know some burgers and whatever and let's just talk and let's run through this conversation yeah. and on, like I said a host of different topics including anxiety and elections and it's so important <laughs> that we don't create the, this bigger wedge that creates the stress that then creates the health problems and some of those harder harder moments we can catch it beforehand and then learn how to cope we have to take a quick break yep um, we will be right back <laughs>